To understand how yarn is made from cotton fibers, let's make yarn ourselves. Again, pause this video, run quickly and get some cotton. I am starting in 3, 2, 1. We have already seen that this cotton is made of many fibers. Now take any end of this cotton and start pulling and twisting the fibers with the help of your thumb and forefinger. Well, what do you see? I have successfully made a thread-like structure. Were you able to do it? See me do it one more time. It's simple. See? Try again. I'm sure you can do it. This thread is nothing but yarn. So if you can make sufficient yarn, you can make your own clothes. This process of making yarn from fiber is generally done with the help of machines and is known as spinning. Yarn can also be spun without machines with the help of some devices. There is one such device which became famous during the independence movement. I'm sure all of you know about it. Can you guess what it is? Let me give you a hint. It is related to Mahatma Gandhi. Yes, you guessed it, right? It is the famous Charkha. Yes, Charkha or spinning wheel can be used to make yarn out of cotton fibers. So this is how we make yarn from fibers. To convert this yarn to cloth, there are two main methods. The first method is weaving. In weaving, we take two sets of yarn and sort of, you know, arrange them together. This process of arranging two yarns together is known as weaving. Understood that? I bet you didn't. To understand this, let's weave something. Here, I have two sheets of square paper. The first sheet should be cut like this. And the second sheet, I have to cut it into strips of equal width. Now, we are all set to weave. Put these strips of paper alternately into the other paper like this. Let's do it for all the strips now. We now have this beautiful pattern. This is similar to the weave you have in your clothes. The yarn, of course, is much thinner than these paper strips. But if you look closely at any cloth, you will see a similar pattern. This was the process of weaving. Can you guess what is the second method of making fabric? Have you ever seen your grandmother or mother making a sweater out of a wool ball? What is she doing? She's actually knitting this yarn into a fabric and this is the second method of making fabric out of yarn. She makes the entire fabric out of a single thread. So in knitting, we have just a single yarn out of which the entire fabric is created. Whereas in weaving, we had at least two sets of yarns. So till now, we have seen how we obtain fibers. Then how we convert those fibers to yarn and then with the help of this yarn, we create fabric. This fabric then can be used to make all kinds of clothes. Now you know how clothes are made. So next time you like a dress, make it yourself. But what do you think our ancestors used to wear?